When I learned my grandma Cookie's story, it was probably the first time that I understood racism. Gotcha. That's out. My shoulder get fished. I'm gonna beat your butt. Oh. <laughs> wow. I see how we playing now. There you go, Grandma. This you, ain't it? Oh man, isn't that something? How you feel about being in a museum, Grandma? You're like a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> a dinosaur. I was the first group of students who integrated the Bibb County school system. There were only like seven or eight black students and about 500 students in the whole facility. She came with me, she came with me. One incident, well, this girl asked me if I had a tail. I spread at my legs and I looked down. I said, do you see a tail under there? She said, no. I said, well, I guess I don't have one. Animals have tails. I'm a human being. I think the only reason these private white schools was created was to make sure they were separated from us. It's really weird to think that FPD started as a segregated school. The campus is really big, and I really do like it. This is my first time ever playing for a school for tennis. My whole life, I have went to all types of public schools. Before FPD, I went to Miller Magnet Middle School. The public schools, I think, teach well, but they can't impose any kind of discipline measures. The Lord really requires three things, to do justice, that is to do what's right, to love kindness. Her tennis can take her a long way. And of course, the curriculum is good. FPD is more advanced. Their education levels are more expanded than Miller. I could just use this for the trees and then just add a little black to it. My mom did want me to switch because it can give me opportunities. Does it like need any pink for like? No, keep colors? that brush, that kind of grayish color. And I found people who understood me and didn't judge me for who I was. <laughs> you have to have a physical for marching. <laughs> What's the point? It was a lot of conversations because FPD is actually a really expensive school. I live with my great-grandfather and great-grandmother, my little brother, and my mom. Me and my mom really do have like a great relationship. But you know, sometimes my mom is really busy, so it'll just be me and my grandma. Because it has a real little grip. Right now, I'm paying for Zoe 900 a month, but that's with financial aid. It's scary, and I really want to stay at FPD. It all depends if my mom gets this job, but she doesn't know how long it's going to take.
I work for Ophthalmology Physicians Laboratory. You got this one. I got the adhesive film. But you didn't and get. I also got this. But I'm down to two days a week, and I can't afford to send her to school on my Social Security. But Ashley, her mother, said now she can keep Zoe where she is because she'll be able to be making the money to do that. And she can stay here rent free. I got the interview with the chief of police. Monday so at 11 o'clock. I'm so happy. I'm so happy for you too. <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. We'll have a protection in our house now. <laughs> and hopefully if I get the job, so I can stay at FPD. Who gonna do the interview? Uh, the chief of police, uh, mm -hmm. Sheriff David Davis. So that's the final decision, isn't it? That's the final decision. <laughs> It's been a process. And yet, look at Jabrowski. He's just sitting almost Can on the surface. Can you believe that? I can't right believe it. Back. Come on, girl. When I started playing tennis, that was no group of girls who were my friends, and we did everything as a team. I didn't have any of that. Yes, ma'am! <laughs> so it's a different type of situation. She might not have to go through as much as I went through, now she has another group of friends and found some sort of identity. Me and my friend group, there are three whites and four blacks. I love each and every one of them. One thing that I would like FPD to change is maybe accepting more blacks as teachers instead of just letting them all be in the lunchroom. My friend, she was called a monkey, and I heard about it when she was crying in the hallway. It broke my heart. I told her that you shouldn't actually listen to what he says because we are better than that. It's just I like, have a, I, I do too. I can't believe that 60 years later, my great granddaughter has to hear the same thing I heard. When is it gonna end? I'd rather for her to go to a predominantly black school, but I want her to go to FPD because she will pay more attention. I have to get in my mindset where it's like, I got this and I'm gonna win this. She loves the tennis team, and they won the state championship. I do hope to play tennis professionally. And another dream is to become a surgeon. You know how I told you if my mom doesn't get the job, uh, I'm not going to be able to stay? She got the job. I feel like I would not be at FPD if it wasn't for my grandma and what she did. And she is doing better, and it was a good choice. You saw the joke in there? Yeah. You're the cookie to my monster. <laughs> what does that mean? I love you, my beautiful baked bean. bean. <laughs> Hashtag read the joke out loud, please and thank you. <laughs> a baked bean. <laughs> A, am I a black bean or no, a you are beautiful. Bean? Happy birthday to you. You look good. You look good. You yes, look you do. Fine. You look fine. And I hope that you have Whenever my mom needed you, you have been there for her. And whenever I needed you, you've been there for me. So I appreciate you so much. And happy 77th birthday. So nice. Oh, well, that, it was so wonderful, darling. Thank you, baby. Something did happen with my mom's job. I found out that I'm not going to be able to go to FPD.
not everyone has the money as other families have. I'm going to miss FPD a lot. My mom said, I'm just going to be going back for a year to Miller. God is equal. He views all of his children as the same. He is risen. The angel said so. When they all ran to the tomb and then stopped and You allow that child and that child and that child, it doesn't matter where they come from, who they are, or what color they are, they will have the same education. And that's what we need, equality and fairness. It's so pretty outside. It is. It's a beautiful day for tennis. You ready to get beats on? <laughs> <laughs>